Watching movies is an experience everyone deserves to have. Unlike 20 years ago when you had to watch movies in theaters or what was offered on cable TV which mostly were seasonal movies like Home Alone for Christmas and shows like soap operas. Now you can watch as many movies as you want with just a laptop, a TV or just your smartphone. While movies are easy to access, they can be costly to see. Movie making is a business. Production companies and or investors chip in money expecting some returns. Filmmaking is a long, expensive journey which compels of a producer, director, camera people, script writer, a cast, a makeup and costume designer, equipment like camera, lights, sound equipment, a location, and so on for pre and during production, and afterwards editors are needed. Finally, when the movie is complete, a marketing and distribution team is needed. In order to increase profit, a production house will sell merchandise, have product placement in the movie, exhibit the movie in theaters and get a percentage amount of each ticket sold, offering the movie on the internet, and so on. Going to the movie theaters for decades have been the best way to experience watching a movie. But movie theaters have been experiencing a problem of less and less people going to movie theaters even before lockdown. Watching movies in movie theaters is expensive to many people. Buying a single ticket and food is expensive. In order for a movie theater to showcase a movie, they have to be in agreement with a distribution company on what percentage they will get from a single ticket. That is why single ticket is expensive to buy. That is why food in theaters are expensive. They are in business. Subscription networks like Netflix, Hulu, and TV subscription like DSTV have gained popularity since they try solving this issue. They allow you to watch as much as you want for a fee. These are meant to be a cheap choice and better option for people since the content is endless. Most subscription networks require you to pay a certain amount per month with different amount of money for a package. This can still be expensive to some and may not make sense, especially if you don't watch a lot of movies or subscription networks does not show the movie or show you want to watch or is not available in your country. This is where movie shops come in. In Kenya, in almost every town there is a movie shop that sells a movie for as low as 30 shillings and all you need is a flash disk a screen like a TV or a laptop or even just a smartphone and you don't have to have Wi-Fi connections which not all homes have. If you're in a place with a Wi-Fi connection, you can also watch movies on sites like 1 to 3 movies or movie minions. Maybe. Movie companies have been fighting piracy for the longest time, but since very many people either are living in third world countries and payment methods are complicated or are working for minimum wage. The only way most people watch movies is through these piracy sites or buying them. If you can't afford to go to a movie theater or pay for a subscription, you can look elsewhere. Movies are accessible now, very easily. It depends on where you look. So spare that $1 or go to a friend's place and exchange movies.